Right now at five, the search is on for the man police say broke into an apartment and sexually assaulted a grad student at Yale. We first brought this to you as breaking news last night right here at five. Yeah, this happened right off campus on the 300 block of Elm Street. That's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane and Matt Police we know have stepped up patrols in that area. Uh, absolutely, Aaron, but you know, it is obviously up unsettling and New Haven's police chief Carl Jacobson says they are doing everything in their power to catch the person who did this. It's definitely shaken me and my roommate and the people living around here. Yale junior Kiernan Lieberman says he's never felt unsafe living off campus, but now he and others are paying more attention to their surroundings after a Yale grad student was sexually assaulted inside her off-campus apartment around 2 Tuesday morning. You have to have a key to enter. Um, and then there's another key that you have to have to get into the actual unit of the apartment that you're going to. But police say the suspect forced his way into the building on the 300 block of Elm Street. We're told the woman who was sleeping woke up to a stranger with a gun. And the weapon isn't the only thing that's alarming police and neighbors. A lot of the sex assaults that do come into the bureau are related to family members or somebody that's known. This is our first unknown offender type um, sexual assault for the year. Um, they do happen, but they're very sparse. Chief Carl Jacobson tells us they're working with Yale PD, and they'll be increasing patrols and their presence in the neighborhood. We're on high alert in that area anyways. Hopefully, they'll see police officers in that area. But the important thing is be aware of your surroundings, lock your doors, um, and if you see something, call us. Some steps, which Yale freshman Caroline's son is already taking. I definitely, like, locked my door. I mean, <laughs> like, I usually do, but, like, sometimes I forget, so I, like, made sure I did that. And, yeah, like... If I'm walking at night, like last night I went to Walgreens, but I just like went with a bunch of friends. And while police investigate, Lieberman says it's been a difficult end to the school year trying to study for finals while thinking of his fellow student and neighbor. My heart goes out to the victim. I really do hope she's okay. Now, in addition to the increased patrols, the chief says they will also have walking beats in this neighborhood and other neighborhoods as well. Anyone with information into this assault is asked to call New Haven Police. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.